Hello everyone and welcome to Mathematics with Marlene. In this video, we'll be dividing three digit numbers by two digit numbers using the long division method. If you want to see how to divide three digit numbers by one digit numbers, I will link that video in the cards above. But before we continue, let's just recap our terminology. So the first example, 875 divided by 25 is equal to 35. The 875, that is the dividend. The 25 is the divisor. And the 35 is the quotient. It's the answer of our division sum. So now let's move on to our first example. 525 divided by 15. Now remember, before we can do this long division, we need to write this in the correct format. So we need our long division bracket. Our dividend goes underneath the bracket and our divisor goes in front of the bracket. And just remember that our answer, our quotient, will go on top of the bracket. And we will complete this long division with four steps. We are repeating four steps over and over again until our long division is done. So the first step is how many times. The second step is multiply. The third step is subtract. And the fourth step is bring down. You don't have to know what is meant by every single one of those steps yet. We'll do it step by step and you'll see how that four steps is implemented. And the last thing I want you to remember is when we do long division, we work from left to right. Usually with multiplication, addition and so on, we go from right to left. But with a long division, you need to remember we work from left to right. Okay, so let's do this example together. The first step is how many times. So how many times, and we work from left to right, so how many times can 15 go into 5? 15 can't go into 5, you cannot take 15 out of 5. So just to remind myself not to write anything above the 5, I'm just going to add a dot. Just so that I know that there should be nothing above the 5. You don't have to write the dot, you can just leave the space open, however it's better for you. Now I move on. 15 can't go into 5, so now I include the 2. Now I ask myself again, how many times can 15 go into 52? 15 can go 3 times into 52. So this may be a bit harder. So if you need to do multiplication on the side, you can do that. And then you can come and continue with your long division. But you can take three 15s out of 52. And now the next step is multiply. So you take the answer you got, the three, you times it with your divisor, and then you write your answer exactly underneath the 52. So three, times 15 is 45 and now on to the next step subtract so now you're going to subtract 45 from 52 so 52 minus 45 is 7 so now your last step is you bring the next digit down the next digit is 5 so you just bring it down so now we start all over again. We were now at the last step, so we start from the beginning again. How many times? 15 can go 5 times into 75. And 5 times 15 is 75. And now we subtract our third step. 75 minus 75 is going to be 0. There's nothing else to bring down. So this is where our long division ends and there is no remainder. We ended with the zero. So our answer will only be 35. So 525 divided by 15 is equal to 35. Now let's move on to the next example. 
278 divided by 12. Now you'll see this one ends a bit differently, but you complete the long division with the same four steps. You repeat it over and over again, and you'll get to the correct answer. So the first thing you do is you write down the long division bracket. And then your dividend goes inside the bracket and your divisor in front of the bracket. And now you start with the first step. How many times can 12 go into 2? So you cannot take 12 out of 2. 12 cannot go into 2. So I'm just adding that little dot just to remind myself. Now you include the next digit, 7. So how many times can 12 go into 27? 12 can go 2 times into 27. And now we multiply 2 times 12 is 24. And we write that directly underneath 27. The next step is subtract. 27 minus 24 is 3. And our last step is you bring the next digit down. So we take the 8 down. And now we have 38. So now we start all over again. How many times can 12 go into 38? 12 can go 3 times into 38. And now 3 times 12 is 36. Now we subtract. 38 minus 36 is 2. So we end it with 2 and there's no other digit we can bring down. So this is where our long division is ending. So 278 divided by 12 is 23 with a remainder of 2. So this is our answer. So 278 divided by 12 is 23 with a remainder of 2. This is just two quick examples of how you can divide three digit numbers by two digit numbers by using the long division method. If you want the notes of this video and you want to exercise with a memo to go and practice long division some more, you can just check out the link in the description box below and you can go and download the notes, exercise and memo. And if you haven't already, please remember to subscribe to my channel and to like this video if you found it helpful and then I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.